Hello, thank you for taking time to review our product overview demo of our engineering change management solution for Business Central. My name is Narav Shah. I'm a solution architect with Two Increase. Today, I'm going to show you an overview demo of our engineering change management solution for Business Central version 15. Our engineering change management solution has three main components. The first is the engineering change request. This is a request from operations, for example, through production, through service, through a job. Anywhere there is a requirement to provide a notification to engineering that a item change or bill of material change needs to occur due to some sort of quality issue or rev issue to engineering to make those specific changes. The next step is the engineering change order. The engineering change order is the changes received back from your CAD system that get updated directly into the item master or the bill of material based on the changes that were requested. Then the third and final, you have the engineering change notice, which is a message to the correct stakeholders that the engineering change order has been processed and fulfilled through the system. Today's example, I'm going to go through submitting an engineering change request through a released production order, basically meaning an in-process production order change, notifying engineering of what the change is, and then ultimately that there is a CAD file that's sent over to your CAD system for the changes and then received back into Business Central, which is a change. In our situations, it will be a new rev or an item. And then that change is committed to your item table and your item master and a notification that's sent on behalf of that. So the idea is to see that full cycle in our product overview demo here today. What you're seeing in front of you right now is our role center. Our role center is comprised of our most utilized tasks in a workflow format. So an engineering change manager or engineering change worker could go ahead and see the statuses of different engineering change requests throughout the day and take the appropriate action on what changes they need to work on and process those changes through into the ERP system, Business Central. So first thing I'm going to do is go navigate to our release production order. So here in my release production order, I'll go ahead and select any open production order. I'll select production order 101061. I'll go into edit here and bring over the screen. And you'll see an option called engineering change request. On the ribbon, I'm going to go and select that engineering change request, which opens up a wizard. This is a to increase specific functionality. I'm going to put a title on this engineering change request. I'll put engineering change rev review. And the system automatically picked up that the source type is from a production order. And this is the source number of this request is coming from production order number 101061. I have initiated this request, so it says my name, and Shah, as my credentials, and the date and time that I went ahead and submitted this request. Optionally, I could add additional comments to this engineering change request if I wanted to. I'll continue here. The next step in this wizard is to maybe put a little more detailed description for this. Uprev, I'll put uprev item 80024. Priority, priority is set based on a combination of the severity value selected and the impact value selected. So here I did severity of high, and I'll do an impact of low, which gives me a priority of six. So this could help establish a workflow for an engineering change manager. Deadline for this, when do I expect this to be completed by? Now I'm gonna select which specific item I'm requesting a change request for, or it could even be a bill of material. So I could request a change to a bill of material and put comments on what that change should be. I'll go and just select item, for example. I'll select our item 80024. There are no open ECN changes at the moment, but if there are any open or pending engineering change requests for this specific item, they would show right here. On location, I could select the location that this change is going to affect if I had a multi location environment. And if there's a picture, the picture you could upload a picture here. Now I'll hit finish. Now the engineering change request has been sent over to the engineering change department. I'm going to close out our release production order, go back to our home menu. And now you'll see on our home menu, we have one open ECR. And we also see on our ECR list, we have one open ECR right on our home screen of who initiated it, time and date, and the production order it came from, and what the priority code is. 
I could open up my open ECR by selecting the one on the activity pane and then going to edit here, which opens up my ECR request. Here I could go ahead and change the status. The status code is currently set to new. So as an engineering change manager, I could continue moving this along in the process by using our lifecycle management routine by using change statuses. So if I wanted more control over my engineering change request, I could optionally activate this feature. So I could hit change request here. So now this is an edit mode. I could continue hitting the change request option. So the second time I hit this change request option, I have the options available to me. I could cancel this request. Maybe I'm not approving this request because the change is going to be too costly and it's not currently necessary. Or I could send this to an approver to go ahead and maybe approve this, maybe my manager, to make sure that they get a set of eyes on this particular engineering change request and approve this request itself. Or I could archive it saying, I'm not going to do any more further work to this. I'm just going to archive it so I have it in history. I'll go and send this to an approver. I'll hit OK. Now you'll notice that my engineering change request has now moved to sent for approval. So now the one is sent for approval. I'll hit the one here. You'll see that I have one record here defined. I'm going to go into edit here. Now, once I go into edit, I'm in the approval life cycle. I'm going to hit approvals. And luckily for me, I could go ahead and delegate this approver approving option to myself. So I'll delegate it to myself as part of this demo. And I'll see my approver or reject options available to me on my ribbon here. I'll select approve, for example. Now this engineering change request is approved. Now that's removed from my view. Now if I hit refresh again, now you'll notice that now I have one approved engineering change request that me as an engineer now, if I was logging in, I could go ahead and complete this engineering change request if I wanted to. So let's assume that this engineering change request, since it's been approved, it's been automatically sent to our CAD system via our job queues that we have activated. And the engineer there in the CAD system has worked on this particular engineering change request and is sending back an XML file into our ERP system in Business Central. So I'll go ahead and just simulate that on our side here. So I went ahead and just processed that job queue and brought over that engineering change request. So if I hit refresh here and I go into our approved engineering change request to order here, I can look at the impact. I'm going to bring up this report. Here's a report that the system generated because I want to see the impact of this engineering change request that's now become approved. There's 100 on purchase order and there's 1,810 on a production order. And my cost impact is about $18.10. I could now evaluate this change if I want to actually make the change to my item master. I can go and close this. I'm going to continue with this. I'm going to go to my engineering change orders now. I'm going to navigate to our orders. Here's our order that got imported in via a XML file that got processed. So when engineer on the CAD system made the change, they made the change to the revision code as part of my engineering change request. I said, go ahead and uprev it. So they uprev it to J. I could go into this engineering change order and I could see that's an approved request. And I could see that there's a hundred on a purchase order that may be impacted based on this request. And it's telling me that the revision code is going to be J now. If everything looks okay to me, I could go ahead and carry out the action message. I could also look at get ECR lines, meaning go ahead and apply a specific engineering change request to this particular engineering change order now. Select okay, do you wanna apply one ECR line? I'll say yes. So now I have full visibility of the engineering change request that has created this engineering change order. Now I'm ready to apply this change to the database. I could hit carry out action message, or I could make changes here if I wanted to. to carry out the action message. If this is a bill of material change, I could make the bill of material under development and then certify it as well. But since this is just an item rev, I could hit OK here. Your order has been processed. I'll hit OK here. Now the entering change order is complete. So if I go into my item at this point, and I go to my item 80025, 0024, my apologies. 0024. And I go into this item and it appears. There it is. And if I look at my item details engineering change request, you'll see that the latest revision is revision J and that came from an approved engineering change request. So if I select that engineering approved engineering change request, it'll tell me that it was request number 11. 
initiated by this person, by me, on this time and date, and on this production order. This takes us through our product overview demo of our engineering change management solution for Business Central. I hope you're able to see the functionality that we have available in our engineering change management solution. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your partner. We would love to be part of your solution set for Business Central. And thank you for your time.